So, so this is going to be fast because only 10 minutes I'm going to present you my Monster website is a crash test multi-site running on beta with uh, almost 500 plugins. So the first thing is why and why it's useful to me and what's in it for you, what, what could be useful for you as well. So the, the first thing, it was to have fun. Some years ago I said, okay, that could be fun if I install all the plugins I have access to in one big, huge multi-site and then I, I, I use it for all the things I'm going to present you. Um, different use case, it means that um, for a given project I may have different needs and I can pick in my list of plugins and install that in a subsite of a multi-site and check if everything is uh, compatible, if there is no conflict. And it's easy because all access is there. Um, I test with whenever I have uh, beta access to a plugin. If I know the developers, I have uh, beta access. So I can test this with the themes uh, or other plugins for conflict and inform the developers um, if this is the case. Because myself, I'm not a developer. <laughs> so um, it runs on the beta WordPress, means uh, on, the, um, on the nightly builds. I will show you that. Okay, so this is the, it was updated this morning, so it's 6.5 alpha with that number. It means uh, with the current beta test of the next, next version. Um, so I have always the, the, the version that is updated the last night. And as you see, <laughs> 481, actually it's a little bit more, this was a, <laughs> an older capture, so it's almost 500 now. Of course, the first question people ask is, uh, do you activate them all at once? No, I don't. <laughs> I actually, I tried something, but um, I, I, I will create a subsite of the multi-site and activate the plugins I, ne I need. Um, I test a, a wide uh, range of things. I have many uh, themes, uh, classic themes, uh, block themes, so the new with the site editor. Uh, I, love, I have a lot of uh, plugins for different use, like forms or uh, tables or whatever. Uh, I have many page builders that I tested, and this is one of the subsites I tried to activate all the page builders at the same time. <laughs> uh, it was not working, <laughs> but it was fun. Um, I also often talk about multilingual plugins because uh, I'm uh, from Switzerland and we have many languages in our, in our country. So it's a very common topic to talk about multiling multilingual plugins. And um, uh, I present that at meetups and I tried them all. Uh, like uh, all the names <laughs> you know about multilingual plugins. Um, there is one that is my favorite, is this one, is a multi-site language switcher. Uh, I trust very much that uh, multilingual plugin and its developer, Dennis. Uh, <laughs> um, and it's very, it's very nice because with my uh, use case, uh, I test and I install two or three different subsite of the multi-site and I can export, export uh, easily to import in a production site. Uh, to export from a multi-site into a production site, either a standalone or another multi-site, I use a plugin called Prime Mover, and it's uh, working with a free version for that. It's very easy. I, I just went, yeah. Okay, so um, with the full list, I can select the plugins for an, an, a new project, and I can also um, copy paste block patterns that I that I made them ready. For example, a, a complex uh, colon uh, or whatever, and I can simply copy paste because with Gutenberg it's uh, easy to copy paste, and it's ready. I have um, uh, like uh, for example forms. Um, I have a contact form in French, and when I install that contact uh, form plugin in a new site, only the English demo will be there. So I can simply, from this uh, starting site, export, 
and get the JSON or CSV file and, and import in the production site. Um, it also increased the confidence in the plugin reli reliability and compatibility. And I'm also uh, checking for security. Uh, on that multi site, I have uh, a plugin called WP Vulnerability. Uh, this one lists all the plugins that have been abandoned, so it means not updated since a long time, or if there is a, a known vulnerability. I would not install that on a client site because it would scare them <laughs> a lot. So uh, there I have a bird's eye view of all the plugins I, I can use anywhere. Uh, I have the list of uh, if there is an issue, um, uh, I know in advance and I can either find an alternative plugin for the same features uh, or um, if, the, if it's a vulnerability, I tell the, the developer, but usually they already know. But then I, I can wait for an update for the production site on my site or my client sites. So, yes, I told you about the, the templates and plugins and um, uh, for some settings that it's easy to export and then re-import in a production site. I told you about the forms, but it can be, uh, for example, um, if you use uh, code snippets, you, you can have a full list of code snippets there, export and the one you use and import in the production site. Uh, AI plugin, local translate for translations. Uh, I told you about the forms and everything you can imagine. You, I have my like starting starting stack, and then I export, and it's easy to to build on the production side. This is important <laughs> because when I, I when I talk about this and I say, oh yeah, there is all for almost 500 plugins, and people go, oh, <laughs> but relax, it's uh, it's uh, it's fun, <laughs> and it's um, yeah, it's uh, it, it helps to prevent issue uh, on the production site, actually. It, 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 it makes things much uh, more relaxed for like um, This one I'm going to skip because it's only a 10 minute talk. I was uh, planning to ask uh, someone to try to uh, hack it in one of the uh, entries or whatever. Um, but yeah, we have no time. Um, that would be helpful if someone can enter and then I, I get to know uh, maybe the point of failures and point of entries uh, via an abandoned uh, plugin or a vulner vulnerability. <laughs> um, th this uh, slide will be uh, on my website, so maybe we can do that anyway. So in conclusion, I, the first thing it was to have fun, but then uh, I... I discovered that it helps also uh, for many use cases. So I love to find out the reason when the white screen of death appears, even though I'm not a developer, it's funny for me. <laughs> it works in diverse situations, and I can explore the, the, the plugins there, and I don't need to, to deploy every time a, a development site, and I is easily uh, solve things proactively, actually. Um, this QR code go, goes to my personal site contact. If you want to follow me, there are all my social uh, links. And uh, the, the third here uh, is a crash test if you want to have a look at this crash test. Thank you. Grazie mille.